The problem is, is Bo doesn't know how to catch. Yeah? You throw Bo food and it just bounces <laughs> off of his head. <laughs> it bounces right off of him. Aw, oh, there he is. Look at him. He's just sitting there being such a good boy. I've been using that device, it's called uh, the Waggle Pet Monitor, for quite a while in our RV. I've done a number of stories on it. We've showed you how uh, when we leave Bo uh, in the RV, we have the, the Waggle Pet Monitor that'll tell us the temperature and uh, you know we can always be sure that uh, it's not too hot in there. But now they have the Waggle Cam, which is a device that will let you actually see your dog and do a couple of other cool things. The most cool of the cool things, besides being able to talk to him, is, ready for this? Shooting treats at him. Look. Bo, right here. Now the Waggle Cam comes in an easy to uh, uh, assemble kit. It's basically this round device. It's about half the size of a basketball, maybe a little less than that. And it, it plugs in. So you need to configure it to the Wi-Fi system that you use in your RV, whether it's a campground Wi-Fi or whether it's your own Wi-Fi, like from a Jetpack or a MiFi or any other Wi-Fi device. You can also bring it in the house. And that's what we're going to do to train Bo. We're going to take it inside our Sticks and Bricks house. I'm going to set it up in our studio and I'll make sure I know how to work it. And, uh, and then we'll get Bo used to it. So. Uh, inside, inside the house, it was simple. I just basically plugged it in, did a little bit of configuration, and using the app, you got to use the app from WaggleCam that you download, we were able to quickly get him going. So here's the thing. You take treats, and he can do fairly small treats like this. These are just little nuggets. See these little tiny things? So you want to kind of fill this thing up with them, and then like so. And then you, this is a magnetic top, so snaps right on really good. And then uh, it's all controlled through an app. And uh, you can actually record these things as you want. And you can, you can talk to them. So I'm going to go in the other room, and okay. you shoot him, and we'll see if it works. And I'll call him the net thing. Okay? Hey, okay. Bo. Hey, Bo. Oh, oh treat. You want a treat? You want a treat? going out where you are. <laughs> He's no fool. He saw you leave. What do you think, Bo? You're going to gain a couple pounds at this rate. He's following you. <laughs> okay, Bo. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You can actually set that to feed him at a certain time. I could just hit a time and it will kick out the treats for him. So, you know, like that's kind of like his food and it would, it would do some. So let's give him another one. Hey, Bo. Okay, Bo, here it comes. Here it comes. Watch Bo. You got treat. Bo in the shot? Yes, treat. Here we go. Treat. <laughs> it bounces right off of him. Okay. The problem is, is Bo doesn't know how to catch. Yeah? You throw Bo food and it just bounces <laughs> off of his head. So we got to train him to be able to see that when it goes out. Uh, and I'm going to need your help. I okay, think. what do you want me to do? Let's get him to sit over okay, there. Bo. Treat. All right, here it goes. Treat. Treat. <laughs> three at once? How could he possibly well, they're catch a little tiny ones, so. They're kind of little? Yeah. Well, Bo's into this. He's okay. Living. We but got he, him in our luck. He doesn't. Bo, yeah. sit. Bo, sit, sweetie. <laughs> Bo, sit. Bo, sit. Right. Bo, sit. Bo. Okay. He's now still looking. Look. Yeah, he doesn't get the hang of this yet. Well, uh. Bo, Bo you want a treat? You want a treat? Sit. Sit. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't get the hang of it. Well, he's pretty good at sniffing the ground, finding him. 
Well, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think I shouldn't have had him this full dinner tonight. He's going to lay down the rest now. Yeah. Okay, give him one more treat. He's a good what? boy. <laughs> Maybe I should have turned it like this. Well, we taught Bo how the thing works and when he hears that sound that there's a treat coming and I think uh, and he's used to us talking to him over it now after we tested it out in the house so now I have brought it into the RV and let me show you where I put it because we learned in our test in the house that this thing really spits out the treats a long way I have mounted it here uh, between the rear beds and it literally will shoot itself way out, all the way down to where Bo normally hangs out, right about where he's standing now. So not only can we check with him through this camera when we call up the app when we're out and about, uh, but we can also give him the treat and uh, talk to him a little bit, and it, it's pretty effective. This is such a gorgeous hike. It's just a shame that they don't allow dogs on this trail. Yeah. I think I'm going to check on Bo, see how he's doing. Aw, oh, there he is. Look at him. He's just sitting there being such a good boy. I think we ought to give him a treat. Hey, Bo, want a treat? This is such a handy device to have. Let's get going. Now, I have one note to mention, and that has to do with configuration. I had a little bit of a challenge getting this to work on the Wi-Fi system that I use in our RV. There are two bands for Wi-Fi, uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 5 is kind of the faster speed. It's a little more limited in range, but um, many of the newer routers and Wi-Fi devices operate at that frequency. I know this is getting technical, but it's important. Um, 2.4 is kind of the legacy uh, uh, band that, uh, that most uh, devices that connect use. And that's the band that the waggle cam connects to, the 2.4. I had a considerable amount of difficulty getting it to set up with the router that I have in our RV. And that's because I had ours on the 5 gigahertz band. And when I went to the dual uh, band uh, setting on it, which most modems do, the jet packs and the MiFi's all work on both 2.4 and 5. Um, it worked fine as soon as it had that access to the 2.4 gigahertz band. But if you have problems with your connection and you get the waggle cam, you need to know that, that you need to have the 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection. If you have any real problems, just call their tech support. They're, it's excellent. They helped me out with mine, and I got mine working. Bo's happy. We're happy. When we're out, not only can we know the temperature, because we have the, uh, you know, the Waggle uh, pet monitor uh, with the temperature device on our, on our uh, smartphone, but now we have the Waggle cam, so we can see him and hear him and feed him. That's the most important part for Bo. He gets those treats. All right, I'll put links to all this stuff in the accompanying blog post for the article and also in the description below. Uh, good luck with it. Uh, your dog will be happy with it, and it's kind of fun setting it up and, uh, and shooting treats at him. I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.